so what's up guys it's technical harman sudi and welcome to this next project video and that is nothing but the object detection using opencv python so let me show you the project so basically the man.py is uh, the project model and this is the code that i have uh, written here and it is around 116 lines of code so basically this project also has the graphical user interface part so that when you click on the start recognition button it will start uh, uh, you know it will start detection button then it will start detecting various objects and when you click on the stop detection button it will just simply close the detection project uh, process of the objects you can see, you can also close uh, the stop detection uh, you know you can also stop detecting the objects when you press on the q button and that is the additional feature that i have created here for you know easy user friendly interface so this is the model code now what are these things frozen inference graph.pv ssd mobile net so what are these so frozen inference graph is it's nothing you know but it's uh, the weight weight path parameters you know so they are a weight path parameter uh, when uh, the pre-trained model is loaded you know uh, the frozen inference graph it also contains various uh, pre-trained deep learning model uh, you know why it's known as the frozen inference because you know uh, the deep learning model uh, you know it contains the pre-trained model they are frozen meaning that the weight and the structure of the model are fixed you understand and and they can also be used for the inference without further training so this is uh, the frozen inference graph and uh, you know it is uh, already present here now if i talk about the uh, ssd mobile net this is the very last net so it contains uh, the data set of uh, the, uh, the it contains the data set of images that are used for the object detection process and the dot names contains the names of the object that can be understood by the person using this model in the real world now let me just run this code so that you can simply uh, understand the model let me just uh, i'm connecting my uh, the mobile phone camera here so that at least i can show you various objects now i'm just connecting it with the ruin webcam so simply i can use this for uh, the process so let me just connect it okay it's connected i'm going to run the code and let's see what is it. so i have so you can see it is showing the start detection i'm going to click on the start detection process and i have kept an apple aside you can see it is detecting apple now what are these numbers you know these numbers are uh, the probability of for, the probability that uh, this object is an apple like if the probability is 74 then the probability of this object to be an apple is 74 percent now if i i have shown the bottle also i have kept the bottle for detection here i have also kept this waste no it's not the waste actually it's the bottle only but now the chair that i have kept there you can see it is detecting chair also so i'm going to close the detection process here so this is how it is detect it is detecting various objects and you can simply you know you can enhance or decrease the threshold depending upon uh, your needs i'm i have just kept the threshold on the 0 0.50 because it was working fine for me here so this was the model that uh, was uh, working here let me just run it again so the apple again it's going to show here so this is the apple this is detecting it as a bottle and this is you know it is somewhat similar with the verse also and this is the chair it's detecting so overall it's working fine so this was the model i hope you like it you can simply download the source code the link for the source code will be provided in the description as well as in the comment section below so don't miss to check out the comment section also so basically the code will be uh, uploaded on my google drive thing you can simply 
click on the link which will be provided in the description you can simply download this post for and you can add it to your resume so thanks for watching this video and also subscribe to my channel for more technical videos of this kind also let me know that which sort of projects i should upload so that you will be you know you will be happy if i upload a lot of projects so let me know which sort of project i should upload on youtube thank you and have a nice day